Well, hey folks, back on the whaler again today. They like my little canopy here. <laughs> the sun has been brutal. It's been killing me. Old bed sheets, hockey sticks, a couple pieces of wood clamped together. Got a ladder holding it up. Some little umbrella I've had for years that I don't even use anymore. But anyway, we're back on the whaler today and we're getting this, all the trim, all the electronics, everything back hooked up. Okay, folks, today is teak day. You can see this piece here. It's done. We are finally done, and I think it looks amazing. And uh, what I did was, you know, that we were using that Dexolay, and it's a two part process. You put it on every 15 minutes until it stops absorbing. The material you wipe off the excess after 30 minutes and you let it dry for three days and what I noticed was I had a few oh I don't know I'd call them like bare spots or spots that didn't have enough material on them so I went ahead let it dry for two days that's when I realized I had some sketchy spots I thought well you know the number two will go ahead and uh, it will bring out you know the luster so I'll just put the number two on but you know I, th I thought about it and I said you know let's go ahead and put two more coats of the number one on and when I did that everything had a gloss to it now number one is a matte finish number two is a high gloss finish which looks like varnish this is only number one but I love the look of this I think it looks classy I think it looks great and here's some of the bigger pieces I mean I think this looks absolutely stunning so instead of getting a high super high gloss varnish I like it kind of rustic like this with the you know the sheen but you also can see some of the uh, grains and things I know I really am not sure what the number two would look like I'm going to leave this and uh, we're just going to leave it the way it is, all these cottonwoods. And so it's all going back on the boat today. And we're working on the council right now. And All right, so we're starting to get this the trim pieces back on here, get this council mounted back down. And um, some things I've done is cleaned up the uh, the compass a little bit this thing here is for the fish finder depth sounder GPS that is going to be cleaned up I've cleaned the ignition up this looked really bad it had what looked like uh, polish or, or, or wax all over it and um, my tachometer and the tilt and trim also had what appeared to be, you know, it just looked really dirty. I don't know what the, what was on there. But what I've been using is Meguiar's vinyl and rubber rubber cleaner. And it does a fantastic job. Just it, It's kind of like Armor All. It cleans it, and I still need to hit this and clean all these little dots off there. I don't know if it's spider stuff or what it is. And... Uh, so here's one I got to clean this up a little bit too, but that's not too bad. But we're getting all these pieces back together. Just uh, I've got all these <laughs> all these screws, nuts and bolts. They all go to the council. I know that I kept everything separated. Probably should have labeled some things because what I just realized, you know, it's not a perfect world. So here I am. I know this goes on the right, but I go ahead and and the, the holes don't line up. I'm like, what's going on? Well, then I realize. We go. I realize this is the way it goes and I actually have it upside down so my bad we're gonna fix that right now so I'm putting all these pieces back together I'm gonna get all these components back in here I realize I have to put them on before I mount them to the console trim gauge tack put a couple new switches a couple new fuse panels bilge pump switch trim gauge all that so now, we've got them all mounted to the teak here. I'm starting now to take, you know, the wires. And I did label them all. All right. 
and uh, but now I'm finding that it's not so easy hooking these things up um, and I've broken a couple of the wires here uh, taking them apart so I had to go ahead and find some uh, and luckily I've got some extras for these connectors so we're gonna go ahead and crimp those on these wires get them hooked up and uh, I put new switches in and you know, one of the things I came across is all right so we have a I'm not an electrician or anything we've got these this is the old switch doesn't look so good I was gonna try to shine it up but it's pitted and everything so I just went and got some new ones yeah they don't make things the way they used to these are actually plastic these are the nicest ones I could find you know but then again I guess I could shop and find some real chrome but these are plastic which okay it is what it is these are the old chrome ones um, but now we've got a positive on the left here, a D, and an R. I have no idea what that is other than the positive must be the battery. I don't know what the D and R represent because on the new one it just has, and you can't read it but trust me, it says this one is the battery and this bottom one it says it's the head. So I don't know what the heck that's for. So now unfortunately I run into situations like this. Okay, there's the wire. I gotta come over here. So I'm gonna have to like, it's almost like it's too short. I may have to switch these up. I may have to switch. <laughs> I'm going to have to. That's just the bottom line. I've got to move these two switches and reverse them. Because I don't know how on earth. Because I've got that pulled as tight as I can get it. And these are the things that are aggravating. I put everything back together exactly as it came off. But for some reason. And then I'm checking here following this wire. And it literally goes. This is. For the light for the compass <laughs> and it's just not long enough I, I could do it I suppose if I just you know do it like that or put the screw in from the inside but then look at this what is all this black and oily stuff is that from the compass is it leaking and it appears it might be all right when you're Dealing with old boats, this is the stuff you come across, and and it's uh, I'm gonna have to switch these switches switches out, switch them over. Here we go again. I mean, it's always something. So here, check this out, folks. Here's our compass, right? There it is. There's the compass. There's the wire I'm dealing with right now. Okay. All right. It's too short. I'm going to have to move the switch. Okay. I thought the wire was falling apart, but it's actually the black paint on the bottom of the compass. Now that fluid in the compass is oil of some sort. And I see that little knob on the left. That must be where you fill it. But I took this rag and I rubbed it around the compass and the black came off. I don't know if you can see that. There's some black. I think it's just the paint. And maybe over the years, this boat's 43 years old, and over the years a little bit of oil got down there. I don't know, from sitting shrunk wrap for several years, maybe the heat, you know, didn't do, do it justice. Um, I don't know if it has enough oil in it or not. Looks fine to me. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to leave that as it is. But we're gonna go have to, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out now.
Now one thing I'm doing here, because this is decorative as well as functional, you get this you get this the, the knob on there all the way. And there's a little bit of a gap. So then I'm backing off this one till it hits the knob. So it's kind of a tight fit. There's still some wiggling going on, but also <laughs> I am also making the nuts they're all the same direction so it just gives you a better uh, visual I like all the screws and all the nuts and everything bolts to be facing the same way if possible I'll show you what I mean in a second I've also have to it's important especially for this big switch I have to keep it perfectly level or or it hits the top of the the cutout the smaller one it's not as important what is important is the front that they're both the same angle. So to give you an idea what I'm talking about here, I made those nuts, you know, see how they're pointing upward? Anyway, no big deal. Now let's get the wires on. They should fit now. They should reach, I hope. All right. However, we've got an issue here where I got two wires touching now. So I just have to back this off. Probably pull this over this way. And we don't want anything touching, if at all possible. Okay, now let's go ahead and fish out these wires that were too short. Yeah, easier said than done, right? Voila, there we go. Wonder where the other one went. Okay. And I think it'll fit now, right? There we go. Bam. So we'll get those on there. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Replace these ends. You see I broke that end off. I thought there was another one. Maybe not on this. So I think it's on my other gauge. I think I might have an issue here. Yes, I do. Alright, so as I turn that nut, the whole post is spinning. Well, that's not good. So we do have, though, a little lock nut down there. I'm going to have to get some really small tools, grab onto it. Okay, we're going to try it the, what I call it the easy way. I just grabbed some needle nose pliers. I don't, I, I've got some very small wrenches I might be able to use if this doesn't work. I'm going to grab this lock nut on the bottom. Grab this nut on top. And, dang it, still spinning. So, what to do? The whole post is spinning. That is not good. Because I'm sure there's wires inside there, right? This is not good. I may have to take this off to meddle with it. Okay, that's what we're going to do, folks. I've got to take this off. Now, if you've never seen how these gauges are mounted, and I didn't snug them up, they're just finger tight. I'll hold the gauge, spin these nuts off, there's a little bracket. I apologize you can't see my see, but anyway, I'm just taking this nut off. See that? Okay. This bracket comes off. And that's what holds it on. Voila. Alright, I am now going to do some surgery on this. And you can see I've got a nut down here at the bottom. A lock nut there. Because there's some kind of transistor or something in between these two posts. I'm going to snug those up and make sure that's nice and snug. Then I can grab onto the lock nuts. And see if I can get that post from spinning. 
All right, I'll let you watch my first attempt. I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> with just this needle nose. I'm gonna try to snug up this little bottom nut. All right. Now let's take this middle one. And do the same thing. Maybe I should support this little transistor. Okay, that's pretty tight. So, now I should be able to grab these lock nuts. Hold them, take this, and please break loose. And it is not. Okay. Huh. Alright, folks. I'm going to snug up that lock nut again a little tighter. And I can't get this top nut to go up, down, in, out, nothing. Oh boy. I may have to get some uh, liquid wrench or something, but this is really tight. It won't go up or down. That's a major problem. Um, the other thing I could do is cut this off somehow. I don't even know if I can get in there to cut that off. I could just leave it. And I do have this uh, U type of connector, and maybe I just leave that and shove in this U connector. If, and I, I could use that nut to, to squeeze it, I guess, or put it down here with the transistor. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? I think if I keep spinning that post, I'm going to have a major problem. Anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sit down at the, the desk here, and I'm going to try to figure it out. Old boats. <laughs> okay, folks, we've done it. I've got that nut off. And what I had to do is I just really had to reef down on these two lock nuts and get them super tight so the post didn't spin anymore, and I was able to get it off. It, it's, uh, you know, hey, 43 years, it's never been off, so... There you go, that's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and remount this, get it back in. And then we'll go ahead and get some, uh, get the wires hooked up. Okay, I've got to replace that wire. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and splice a new one on there. Now I've got to get this spliced in. I want to find a connector, appropriate size for this bolt. And look at that, perfect, right? So we'll just twist this up, shove that on, oh, crimp down on that really good. On that one, great, perfect. That's not going to come off. There we go. All right, so that's going to go on there, right? Okay, perfect. So that one's done. Okay, that's nice and snug. All right, voila. All right, I'm going to get these other two on here. And this one came off real nice and easy. Okay, oh, but interesting. Look at that. I thought I broke two of them. Look at that. I snapped that little one off as well. Okay, so what wire is that? I gotta find that wire now. Put that on. Rimp it. Yeah, give it a grunt, because that helps. The sound effects do help. There we go. 
See? Sound of... <laughs> All right. That didn't go well. My grunt wasn't very good. I'm going to have to grunt louder. I don't even know where I got all these fittings. I kind of save stuff. <laughs> I'm a junk collector, but comes in handy. <clears throat> so I'm going to crimp these twice, but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to, right on the edge, these little bumps, I'm going to go in the center like that. You see that? So watch this, if I can. And give it another crimp right in the center just to make sure now let's try it yeah see that's not coming off all right all right that's finger tight let's snug it up okay beautiful all right, one more to go on the trim gauge. I pulled these off, what, it's been about, I've been working on this, I guess we're going on two weeks now. It could be the third week. I think it's the third, yeah, third weekend. I'm not working on it full time, just spare time. Anyway, so I, I marked these, but you know, I've got a post here. I don't have any nut or anything on this one. I do on this one and all I labeled this was you know trim gauge middle so I got bottom top middle or is it supposed to be over here I don't know tell you the truth does it go here or does it go there so there you go folks um, make sure you make better notes than I did and we'll just get them on I'm not going to bore you with the details, but we're going to get these the wire here and the wire here on there. Tighten this all up, snug it all up so it's permanent. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hook up this other this other panel. We've got the motors tilt and trim. We've got the RPM meter here, and I do have the tachometer uh, wires right there. I do have to find, ah, uh, here it is. Okay, this could be a problem. All right, I've got the trim button. Boy, these wires are so short. Okay, ah, barely makes it, look at this. I'm gonna use this trim wire. It's so short, barely makes it. I don't wanna go ahead and start cutting all the zip ties and everything else, some previous when they manufactured this boat or whatever. But it's just odd that they have them so tight. And this one here is real quick and easy. It's just a three prong plug and then again, <laughs> is anything easy? Wow, barely going on. Okay. I've got it on and I was hoping, see how tight that is, I can't even pull any more cord, that's unfortunate. Um, I do see why. Those wires are hooked up to the trim gauge and there just isn't a lot of room. And this one's sealer that popped right out. Just too much tension. I have have to redo this. I, you know, th these are, these are the things you run into. So, you guys saw me do this other panel. And these are the things you learn. <laughs> so, this panel here, the wires go to here, over here, and. The problem is, I have the wires coming off this way and then looping over. I now have to take this all apart, take it off again, and I need the wires to go this way, and it'll give me a couple of inches. Um, yeah. So once again, one step forward, one step, or two steps forward, one step back, 
and that's kind of how things go you know unless you can take pictures of everything before you take it apart and then you know exactly but uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this apart switch the, the water. all right folks so you see these this purple wire black wire white wire I need them to face this way it's gonna give me a couple inches so unfortunately I gotta deal with this again just go ahead and hopefully I can spin this without turning the terminals and I'm hoping I can just yep nope <laughs> nothing's ever easy I was hoping I could just spin the wire around but once again I'm gonna get the top of this terminal we'll see if the nut comes off oh and it's going to thank you Lord let's see I can't seem to spin it around I'm gonna have to I might be able to come this way and I'm just going to take the nut off. I'm already at the top. Here we go. Now, I'm going to give this a little bend. Oh, and there you go again. You know, these little tiny nuts and bolts. I just dropped one down in the center of the console down there. Been dealing with that stuff all day. It's probably the third one I've dropped. Then you try to find them, and you can't find them. I know one or two went in the bilge. There's a little tiny crack where the wires come through, a little access port. I've had two of them drop down there. <laughs> so, you know, really? Okay, let me see if I can find that nut. Okay, without moving anything, of course, I can't see it. It's not here that I can see. I got a few parts down here, like things like this sitting I'm gonna use in a minute. And once again, no nut to be found anywhere. Isn't that great? I literally dropped it straight down. It should be right here in the center. Is it? No. Oh, man. All right. I found it. You know, and it's it's just un unbelievable how they 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 go they fall, bounce, end up five feet from where you think it is so have some patience you ever decide to do this this is not my boat I'm doing this for somebody and they don't realize why it's taking so long oh yeah go ahead yeah try to try to do this on your own Especially when the boat's been sitting for you know, several years in shrink wrap. You know, uh, if you don't use your boat, it's going to go to hell. Excuse the language. You got to use your boats every year, or you might as well just, you know, sell it. You let it sit for a year or two, you're going to have some major problems when you un undo it. Things are not going to work, wires corrode, you lose connection, even though the wire is totally attached and everything's perfect, looks great, no electrical connection to your ignition or your wipers or your lights or the horn don't work this year, why doesn't my trim tabs work, why doesn't my, you know, I can't lift the motor, you know, because, well, you let it sit for three years, don't do that. If you're not going to use your boat every year, sell it. Don't attempt any of this stuff unless you've got some serious patience. I've been working four hours today. <laughs> and this is about all I've got done. Unbelievable. Uh, Put it together and then realize, oh no, yeah, got to switch it up now. So that happened with these switches. I had to turn them around. I don't know if you can see this, but I had to switch these over. Now I got the wires facing this way, but they got to connect over there, and I don't have enough slack. So now I have to undo all these, switch them the other way. And hopefully that will help. Alright, cool. 
that is done. These three wires, boom, 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 they used to stick, I had them sticking out this way and, and coming back around, but they need to hook up over here and there wasn't enough slack. So I had to now put the wires to face this way to give me a couple extra inches so I can reach here. So we're now gonna hook up this trim over there. Well, success folks. <laughs> We've got that panel and that panel done. All the wires are set. I only lost a couple nuts and bolts. All right, I'm gonna have to buy some more for some of the other pieces. But there we go. All the switches working. Well, they should work. I don't have them hooked up with the battery yet. But in any case, I think we've got that done. Now we've got to do the steering wheel, ignition, throttle, and shifter. All right, so I think I'm going to tackle the ignition first, and that's a pretty simple process. We're going to go ahead and do this ignition. And this is interesting. I just found this nut. <laughs> um, it was laying on my floor here outside the council. I dropped it inside the council. So, you know, you just don't know where they're going to end up. But here's the ignition cover plate All right what is odd these are fake screws fake fake real real and when I pulled this boat out there was oh that's right I got to drill a hole for this there was only one screw yeah so here we go again folks I am going to have to go in get my drill set drill a hole through here I went ahead and I bought two uh, matching screws they were silver there was a silver screw in here there's no screw here so I bought two matching screws and I painted them black that's right I gotta drill I gotta drill that in okay but in the meantime we have the ignition here and it comes through this hole I'm gonna clean it up a little bit there's dust I don't know where all this dust and stuff's coming from I co cover the console every day Okay, so this comes through. This this goes in here like this. There is a nut that goes in there. Okay, so I'll hold this. I'll put that in there. Now the strange thing is you can kind of get a socket in there, but it's difficult. So I'll see if I can hand tighten it. And then I'll grab some needle nose to snug it up a little bit. All right, so that lease is going to hold it in there. And uh, I'll go get some drills and stuff, and we'll go ahead and mount this properly. Hey, well, thanks for tuning in, folks, watching the show. This is part one of a two-part episode, putting this council back together. Calamity of errors. Uh, you know, it's like a comedy show. So thanks for watching. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe. Give me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. And uh, make sure you click the bell when you subscribe so you get notifications the next uh, video that comes out. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. And uh, check out part two where we get the council finally finished up. Thanks for watching again.